Hello, my name is Oz. As you may have noticed, I am not a cute anime VTuber. I am a scary skeleton VTuber. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it all in one set, otherwise the editing is gonna be very noticeable. Why am Oz? As you may have noticed. <laughs> Fuck. Hello. <laughs> Hello, I am Oz. Uh, a new VTuber. As you may have noticed, I am not a cute anime girl. Uh, I am in fact a skeleton. And right now my plan is to get a anime girl waifu pillow and take the case and sew it around myself like a hot anime oogie boogie not to say that oogie boogie isn't hot and animated but it would help me get some extra views i'm just gonna roll with it dude i wasn't sure what type of content to make uh because vtube was playing video games and singing has kind of been done to death and uh haven't seen one that desperately begs for attention while pretending to do stand-up so uh i think i found my niche I think I wanted to do stand-up ever since I was a child and I uh, grew up in a broken home and developed several personality problems. And it was either this, alcoholism, or drug addiction. And, well, as a skeleton, the boat has sailed on at least two of those, so here I am. Uh, that's not a joke. That's a cry for help. The good thing about performing from a crypt is I can't tell which boos are from audience members and which ones are from ghosts. Another benefit of being undead is the uh, the pandemic. You know, I have to say this whole thing brought everyone a little bit close together. Really, really connected everyone. Uh, but that could just be, you know, the 5G and the vaccine. Uh, if you don't understand that joke, you either aren't American or don't follow dumb conspiracy theories. And uh, congrats. But I once interviewed for a job cleaning up cum in a porn shop. Uh, the porn shop in my neighborhood was hiring and... I thought it was going to be retail, you know, just peddling some pussies. Rolling down the street. Hey, there goes Oz, the pussy peddler. Hey there, Oz, you got any new pussies in? Sorry, friend, I don't have any new pussies in, but I do have some freshly baked dildos if you want any. Uh, bangettes, as I call them, or drench bread, if you're feeling fancy. Um, but no, uh, the job was to clean up the video room in the porn shop after people, you know, use it. Uh, I'll be honest. I was like, damn, I'd have to mop up cum and possibly human shit to make a living out here. Uh, you know, how much, how much does it pay? You know, uh, minimum wage apparently. So, uh, left that. I'd rather be cleaning up grease than cum. I'll be honest. At least I can reuse grease. Well, I got into VTubers kind of recently, honestly. The thing that kind of put me off was the, uh, the lingo that the fans of VTubers use. Now, fans of VTubers, great people, obviously. That's who I'm uh, pandering to. <laughs> uh, but no, great people. And uh, But the lingo kind of put me off. You know, um, like boing boings. Uh, titties in English. Opie in Japanese. Or as the Canadians call it, bagged milk. You know, um, I just thought the, the lingo was a little strange. But really... When you think about it, VTubers are just kind of like the uh, the modern version of superheroes. They got an alternate identity, and uh, instead of saving you from like a fire truck or something, they're just kind of saving you from the reality we live in right now. And uh, you know what? I think that's pretty cool. So, uh, hey, here's my uh, superhero skeleton audition. Eh, I cut that out. That was dumb. <laughs> Another reason I was hesitant into uh, getting into VTubers is my crippling fear of robots. I'm not saying that VTubers are, in fact, robots, but uh, if a robot overlord seeking to destroy humanity uh, came in a form nowadays, it would probably be a cute anime girl. Just saying. Uh, easiest way to destroy humanity is to just keep it from having sex, right? So just come in the form of your waifus and your husbandos and keep us from having sex, and that will be it. Robots can be patient. Now, if I'm killed by a bunch of uh, waifu bots, you'll know I'm onto something with that theory. Um, but speaking of weird lingo, uh, I recently saw someone on Twitter describe uh, a partner that they had sex with uh, as having a, quote, fat pussy. And I thought that was an insult. But apparently that is a compliment. Uh, who knew, really? 
Uh, I would have assumed it meant that pussy is a risk for type 2 diabetes. Um, Ma'am, your pussy looks fat. I think we need to put it on an exercise program. Um, have you been feeding it too much uh, banguettes or uh, drenched bread, if you're feeling fancy? To pull back the curtain a bit, uh, whenever I think of a joke to uh, put into a bit, uh, it's usually when I'm about to go to sleep or when I'm driving and kind of just zoning out. So what I'll do is I'll take my phone and I'll say, hey, Bixby, set a reminder for when I'm awake. And I'll typically just give it uh, an innocuous name. Like for that one, I just said, hey, Bixby, when I wake up, fat pussy, you know. And I'll, I'll assume I know what that means when I wake up. Uh, but for that particular one, uh, I did not. And when I woke up, my phone just messaged me fat pussy. And I'm like, damn, Bixby, what did I ever do to you?